big signals. All right, all month long is March and Tosh. It's also Women's History Month. There's also something going on every single day. Um, we wanted to do like the Museum of uh, Technology maker stuff. Like here's every Arduino board, um, electronics and computers that uh, influenced us, and obviously Macs. Yeah. Especially old Macs, I think helped get us a lot of us here. Yeah. Um, Hypercard we talked about last week. Yes. Um, and just like really weird stuff. In fact. The stuff that we're trying to do for March and Tosh, which is a month-long celebration of, of Retro Max, is kind of the weird stuff. So the first thing that I wanted to show is the uh, Quick Take camera. Um, the Quick Take, yeah, I got it. Is, uh, it. It's the Quick Take 150. And this was digital cameras years ago. And if you look on Flickr, they have every Apple camera, which is all phones now. But then there's three at the bottom, and there's I think three pictures that were posted in the last year, and it's from our camera. <laughs> so we still we still have it. It's like twenty six. It's twenty six years old. JPEG's have JPEG. Yeah, man. 27, 26, 27, 26, 27 years that, old. That format in a while. Yeah. So let's watch the video. We have a we 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 photographed ours, <laughs> and then there's a there's a little um, commercial. One of the things that I'm doing as we publish these stories and these old retro photos and. Um, people are sharing their experiences. I'm trying to dig up the old ads of uh, what they what what they were saying. Like this is the future, and see how it ma uh, matches up to you know today's expectations and more. So here's the uh, first one. Before, after, before, after, before. How do you get from before to after? Simple. Introducing the Apple Quick Take Digital Camera. It makes everything you do look better than before. And that was the uh, manual that you can check out as well and so this uh do you know what this is <laughs> uh, this looks like it like what is it like a trash can is it, no it's a uh, Roomba no what <laughs> this is the calls Roomba <laughs> this is the first Apple wireless trash can no um this is a speaker that goes along with the 20th anniversary Mac mm -hmm. and uh so yeah and uh it's really uh, a beautiful machine they did this we have a video with uh Johnny Ive and from a long time ago and you can see all that went into it had look at that fan Ethernet. by the way look at that yeah. fan there that's like they would not let you do that now yeah um all the tam and there's these this giant umbilical cord style the <laughs> connector is insane. yeah yeah the connector is like what it's like what aerospace monstrosity is it yeah, yeah. And, and they like spdif did not exist they really loaded up it cd-rom and had tv tuner ethernet um it was neat and so it on it though uh there was a when you started it up there was this rendering like state of the art at the time this like you know three Until you guys see this this 320 by 240 rendering so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna play the entire thing it's just i'm gonna play some of it it's it is so 90s and everything about it is 90s i love it um and so we're gonna play that but check out uh we're doing most of this on tumblr so check out adafruit.tumblr.com and uh i can just smell the rc cola yeah and uh Heads. yeah we'll, we'll we'll come back after this this Next video and, sh and show you some other stuff but it's really neat to take a look at really big at, at how far we've come so here we go there are some things in life that capture one's soul like design that goes beyond the ordinary, compelling beauty and grace, a sweeping curve, the perfect line. In the pursuit of design, humankind continues to make better and more elegant solutions. From furniture to architecture to the tools we use every day, 
The unity of form and function can't help but make an impact on our lives. Balance, contrast, texture, color, and some deeper meaning. Art is design. Design is art. Life is kept exciting by the discoveries that emerge. They keep us looking forward, reaching for new ideas and innovations. Apple's 20th anniversary Macintosh, a design for the future. Hey, Steve, what do you want to put on the center there? I don't know. Let's put another little one in the middle. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's uh, that's the 20th anniversary uh, Mac and uh, more ahead. We have uh, more days in the month. So the next thing, and this I thought would be a special treat for y'all out there and for our late data, this is the Apple II reference manual sent us by a kind person. I didn't ask them if we could say who sent it to us, but we have um, the Red Book. And this was, uh, I'll just show some of the pages. It's, yeah, it's actually handy when we do the um, floppy disk. 1978, no is been. It was like, this was like sent out with like, the it's a manual yeah you know you want here's your computer you get some schematics so i'm going to go to the it's apple part number four yeah <laughs> 1978 and uh lots of neat stuff here's uh here's some oh no what happened here oh i didn't do i don't know mm. well let me turn it back off, off well again. let's see what's going on here oh not a good overhead yeah who no. knows Let's see. Well, luckily we just posted up photos and everything. Unknown why why it doesn't have any signal on our. Well, that's weird. Our overhead. Little overhead. It's our new overhead too. Little overhead. Maybe I'll try now. Well, we also have a sticker. So well, I love that half of this is assembly code. Assembly. It's literally this assembler, like in the back, hand drawn. Signal. I don't like this. There should be signal. There's no signal. Main screen turn on. Yeah. Well, the other thing it could be. And uh, did I kick something? Maybe. What? No, I don't think so. But I'm kind of determined now. Okay. Oh, hey. Nice. That's right. Did you just unplug it and plug it back in again? I defragged the hard drive. You know, form follows function, yeah. and function follows form. And sometimes you just have to read nice. the HDMI. Is cable. Design. <laughs> yeah. I do have this giant cable that kind of runs everything. Yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks for bearing with us. Um, our kid is teething too. I think she was gnawing the wires. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So why don't you find a schematic page? I think the... Well, this is just cool. So can I just show like, there's like, they're like, hey, by the way, here's like a mini assembler and they just have like... Here, you just type this in. Just type this in? Like what, what was, what's the, what's the thought process here? I don't know. Um, yes, this is their mini assembler by uh, S. Wozniak yeah. and A. Bomb. So that's kind of cool. So they have a couple different, they have the pseudo machine interpreter. Here's the floating point routine. So that's kind of cool. Neat. This is by Wozniak, 1977. Yeah. And you're probably wondering, boy, it'd be great if I can get a copy of this. Don't worry, you can't. We link to um, archive.org where there's a copy the, of it. This is all the... Um, assembly instructions and the flags and you know jump and whatever okay here's the hardware system timing and schematics so they're like here so you put it together okay no problem here's you just put it just put it together oh you start with the preliminary manual okay so this is ac line and they're like here's some rf modulators you can use oh do you want to maybe hide us because we're in the way of the, the cool text um yeah so you can get like the pixie verter that's a cool name, the Pixie Verter, or the RF modulator from Berlin Game. Um, so they're like, here's how you. It's interesting. It's like you know, there's no drawings because it's it was really. There, there's some in there. There's some, but there's not a lot. Uh, so they're like, here's how you can wire stuff together. Here's how to connect um, RS two thirty two, and they're like, yeah, no problem. You're just gonna get like a little piece of strip board, wire up a little resistor to you know, level shifter bias, bias transistor. And here's a uh, teletype routine that you could uh, code in if you wanted to connect to uh, teletype. Let's see. And then here's the layout of the main board. Oh, beautiful. It is a beautifully laid out board. I mean, like, look at that. Yeah. All the chips in a row. Um, and this is the, the slots 
for the peripherals. And like, they're, you know, they're just like, hey, by the way, like, you know, here's the addresses and here's, you know, it's connected to a 74 LS series um, cassette jack. And they're like, here's the impedance for it. And, um, you know, it's like very, very low level details of like, okay, you want to connect to peripheral. It's like, you know, if you're- well, if It's if open you're source a, hardware before open source hardware. <laughs> if you're using a microcontroller, right? It's like you have your, you know, IO port, 8-bit port, and then they're like strobe it, and you have some interrupts and the IRQ and like the ready and reset lines. It's, you know, it's it's basically the same thing. This is a beautiful drawing. I like these these connectors, the famous you know power connector which has plus minus 12, plus minus five. Um, power supplies, I remember there was a couple of articles. G- that, Raspberry Pi, GPIO or something? Um, it's like that, but it's, <laughs> you know, not quite. I think I think it's a five volt. I think you know, the logic, I actually don't know if the logic was five volt or 12 volt. I'm assuming it's five. And then um, the memory map. And it's like, oops, made a little mistake here. So they, they redrew it. It's kind of nice that they didn't, pick, you know, they didn't, they didn't clean it up. They're just like, oh, print, go to print um all the timing oh this is a beautiful button look at this beautiful drawing yeah. oh that's so it's cool zoom in a little bit here. yeah this one's nice look at that this is the peripheral bus and how it connects back and forth between the uh the different peripherals the video generator and peripheral io onboard io and then oh, hold on go down here you can see the speaker neat yeah, and, and since this is the MPU 6502, and then uh, this is the oscillator, and they have the little crystal driver here. So this like generates all of your clocks, and you're just using some, you know, some some simple uh, 195. I don't know what that is, like an SR latch maybe. And then uh, the RAM counters. And this is, these are the RAM chips, so they're just like, hey, you just get a bunch of RAM chips. Yeah, and these are these are just like various little uh, counters and dividers. Here's your, your RAM, just it's just one big array. And uh, let's see, the IO port. I like that they have all the you know the part numbers and everything. Yeah, and it's like here's the. Here's a five five three quad timer. So um, this is how a lot of uh, people are like, oh, you know, you, you have a joystick, right? Which is a potentiometer. But then how do you connect a potentiometer to digital circuitry? Um, you use the uh, input of the potentiometer into um, a five 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 or a five five three, in which case is a quad timer. And then the pulses that come out, you measure the width of them, and that tells you. Um, what the resistance is because the capacitive is set here to fix capacitance and flexible resistance. Um, then there's the speaker driver, just a simple, you know, class A with a Darlington driver and a little, yeah, I mean, it's like all very, it's, you know, it's funny. This actually would be a great, um, you know, if you're learning digital circuits these days, I know like it's all done, you know, emulator style now, but it'd be really cool for somebody to study and analyze like what's happening on each page. Like how, how are all the circuits use like look at this like 555 cursor flasher right they're like okay we're gonna flash the cursor on the screen well it's just there's just a 555 that does it and it sends a signal to the video generator and yeah this is just the composite out i mean like amazing that he got composite out um using just like this logic level circuitry and uh if you look at this is a sticker from 1978 not not instructions not bad quality um you can well they use lead back then yeah and you can see you know this is this is where the um his cut is and you could we could peel this off but we're not going to do that we're going to store this in a safe place um these are very vivid color I mean, we also like... wanted to kind of tell the story so if you asked like who designed that apple logo a lot of people don't know it was uh ron uh, sorry, Rob Janoff in 1977, and he was an art director at uh, Regis McKenna. Tested design a logo for Steve Jobs. They wanted something to show it was an apple with a bite out of it. You can look at the previous one. It's like this Newton like uh, ink drawing. It was a beautiful drawing. Yeah. Yeah. The, the... And they didn't want it to be mistaken for a cherry or any other type of fruit. And they also wanted to show that it was color because that was a big deal. Color screens. So. Uh, yeah. But you see what color or not you know it had like eight colors yeah. yeah so uh continue to check out our retro um journey uh there's a lot of neat stuff in computing history and uh 
it's fun to kind of watch some of the folks on the social media say, oh, is this, is this a rendering? Because it doesn't seem real. It's like, what, what do you mean Apple made a, you know, a digital camera? Now there's, yeah. you know, every phone's a camera. Um, so neat stuff. And uh, look at the hashtag Marchintosh and you can see what's going on. Uh, there's a lot of people posting cool stuff. And that is this week's retro. Thank you.